CPT JJCPV Evaluation and Management E&M uh, Services Guidelines, page 5, part 3. Concurrent care and transfer of care. Continue, right? We are just uh, giving the definitions for what is concurrent care and transfer of care. We're going to continue with concurrent care. When concurrent care is provided... No special reporting is required. There's a D missing in provide, oh, provided. Provided. Okay. No special reporting is required, which means that you have to report it the same as, as if they were not concurring, as if they were done on separate dates, right? Concurring means everything is done on the same day, right? So there's no special uh, reporting is required, which means that all the procedures have to be reported and it doesn't matter that it, they were done on the same day, right? right. And now we have a little uh, extra explanation about what uh, concurrent care is, which is similar services, services, <laughs> for example, inpatient, subsequent care to the same patient, but different providers of different specialties on the same day. But they must be for different problems, okay? Okay, so that's our theory for today. Now let's do a problem. So ready, set, Go. Okay, CPT JJ RVA, page 253, exercise 42, and this is a level zero exercise, which means that it's straightforward. All you have to do is just find the keywords in the problem, go to the index, and we'll tell you exactly where to go. You know, in the index, it gives you a range, and then you go to a tabular, and just following the words, it tells you exactly the code, right? So, okay, the title of the problem is? Uh, it's laryngeal carcinoma. Laryngeal carcinoma. Laryngectomy. Laryngectomy. Neck dissection. Neck dissection, right? Right. So the procedure here is laryngectomy and neck dissection. And laryngeal carcinoma is the reason why we're doing those procedures, right? So let's read the problem. Surgery respiratory. Patient has been diagnosed with Metastatic laryngeal carcinoma. Metastatic laryngeal carcinoma, right? Yes. Patient? Underwent subtotal supraglottic laryngeal laryngectomy. Laryngectomy with? With radical neck dissection. With dissection. radical neck dissection, right? Dissection. Dissection. Yes. Dissection, okay? So that is our procedure, right? So now we're going to count to three, so you can um, pause the video and give us the answer to this procedure. One, two, three. All right, the answer is 31368. Did you get that? If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a couple of tips. Okay, the tip number one is? Start with laryngectomy. Start with laryngectomy, okay? And now you're just gonna keep reading the problem and you're gonna find the other words, okay? Uh, so you start with laryngectomy. Let, let me see the problem again. Patient has been diagnosed with metastatic laryngeal carcinoma. You ignore this part because it's, this is the diagnosis. We don't want the diagnosis, we want the procedure. So, patient underwent, right, subtotal supraglottic laryngectomy. So, laryngectomy is the first part, and you have to find the other word here. Subtotal supraglottic, right? Mm -hmm. And then you add a radical neck, neck dissension. Okay, let's go to the tips again. All right, so... That's our tip. You start with laryngectomy in the index. And now we have three links here, especially the first one we already saw there, and the first one explains you very detailed what it is, right, and the different parts of the larynx. Too. Okay, but we should, you should watch the, the three of these, the three of them, right, right here, because they have A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. Those are very good to watch. They don't take long. It takes maybe 10 minutes, but you, can, you will understand exactly what the procedure is. And if you're... Uh, interested a little further, you want to go further, you can uh, click on the other links. Okay, so you have the tips, you have the links to understand the problem, and you have the answer. The answer is 31368. Now we're going to count to three, so you can pause the video and give us the path. How we got to the answer. One, two, three. Okay, this is the summary of the problem. This is the surgery respiratory section of the CPT code book. The patient has been diagnosed with metastatic laryngeal carcinoma. This is a cancer in the, in the larynx, right? And it's metastatic, it means it has jumped from, from somewhere else. 
the patient underwent subtotal supraglottic laryngectomy. So this is a type of laryngectomy. This is a laryngectomy. Supraglottic is the part of the larynx that it was done, and subtotal is the type of laryngectomy, right? With radical neck dissection, which means that there's a, a, an additional procedure, but uh, it is uh, part of the uh, laryngectomy. Okay, so that is our problem. Now, there's only one code, and the code one through the index is found like this. First you go to index. Go to the index, and then? Then you start with laryngectomy. You go to the L, and you look for laryngectomy. And then you go to? Subtotal. Subtotal, that's the keyword. All you have to do is just find subtotal for here, because it's a laryngectomy, but what kind of laryngectomy? Laryngectomy, this is a subtotal laryngectomy, right? And now, you get two codes, right? Mm -hmm. 31367 and 31368. You get two codes. That's what is level zero. All you have to do is to read those two codes and you will find the answer. So let's do that. You go to the code one through the tabular is found like this. First you go to tabular. You go to the tabular. You read the first code. What does it say? 31367. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Subtotal superglottic. Uh-huh. Without radical neck dissection. Okay, so this is where it's level zero. It says here, without. We have with, and this is without. So that's not the one. So read the other one. 31368. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. It's but the same thing from here to here. A little laryngectomy, subtotal supraglottic. But here it says? With. With radical neck dissection. So you see, that's what is level zero. It's straightforward. All you have to do is you have just two codes. Read the two codes in tabular, and one of them is without, the other one is with. Of course, you have to choose the with one, right? Because it says right here, with, right? So that's why we have uh, an equal sign there, and the answer is 31368. Okay? 31368. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit our website, and also... Also, you can subscribe to us in YouTube by clicking here. For our new medical coney video. Just click in the subscribe button and you will get You will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD ten, CPTs, all that's the to pass the medical coney certification exam. So don't forget to visit our website and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.